Kelly Reed joining us from Middlesex County this morning with these bizarre details. Right, the big question is, who did it, Carissa and Tony? We still don't have those answers, and police are still looking for the vandals at this point this morning. I want to show you something, though, for a second. Take a look this way. That over there, yeah, that's what the wall is supposed to look like. Take a walk with me this way now. You see over here? Yep. That's the damage for you. The pictures speak for themselves. Cinder blocks can be seen toppled over on the ground and part of the equipment is covered in rubble. Law enforcement say on site heavy machinery was used to significantly damage this new retaining wall that borders the intersection here at South Minnesink and Cheesequake Road. Ultimately, police suspect that the equipment um, was used to cause damage sometime between 3 a.m. and 5 a.m. back on Friday, January 6th. Authorities say they're certain this was a purposeful act that's now being investigated by the police department in conjunction with state and county partners. Of course, there is speculation online as to why this may have happened, leaving comments like, this vandalism is nothing compared to the destruction of per perfectly good woods, and the majority of the town hates this project. Of course, again, right now, we still don't know who did this and why this happened. Of course, we'll continue to follow this. We are hoping to hear from the police department as to their perspective on some of the details we're still missing at this point this morning. Was there a key left inside of one of those machines? Again, so many questions still unanswered and wow. What a story for this town. I know many people are uh, talking about it on social media as we work to get you those answers. Live in Sayreville this morning, Allie Reed, News 12, New Jersey. It's probably going to be the talker of the week, Allie. Unbelievable. All right, thanks so much.